and welcome to your gold market update for today the 22nd of september 2022 hope you're all enjoying your public holiday but of course the rest of the world is still open mike smith senior analyst at go markets here just to lead you through what was an eventful night in the u.s look at what's come across the news of course we had a highly volatile session in the u.s subsequent to that u.s interest rate decision with that expected three quarter of a percent rise what wasn't expected was the hawkish tone the projection going forward suggested that possibly about another one and a half percent may be added this year and the press conference that jerome powell ran after the decision sent markets tumbling in the last hour measured indices and now within touching distance of june lows we're actually going to have a look at one of the indices as one of our charts of interest today u.s futures are down in asian trading obviously the asx is closed but asian indices are open are following that negative u.s lead all down significantly a european equity futures pointing to a lower open also in excess of two percent despite the fact that they had a positive session yesterday remember they closed before the interest rate decision was released and that's why the european futures are in very very red territory us dollar index moved higher to break 20 year highs it is up in asia again gold is still holding on to that 1660 support and oil is still holding on to support as well around about 88 on the brent crude cfd contract copper is testing 350 support and vix is nearing the 28 level which has been a significant level over the previous few months and it is nearing three month highs bitcoin is currently below today the 18600 support we've referenced earlier in the week but no further selling today it's trading within a fairly tight range underneath that level but if there is further selling which we may see when the european markets open then it could sell off significantly we've already had the bank of japan interest rate decision now which was as expected but the statement that went along with it was quite hawkish in terms of reducing their qe their quantitative easing program which the market wasn't expected so there was some movement earlier on in the yen uh, we're waiting for the dust to settle on that we've also got the swiss and the uk interest rate decisions due out later both expected to have rate increases also just in case you thought that was enough for the market to digest we've got us weekly jobs this evening and we've got global manufacturing and services pmi data tomorrow so a really hectic end of the week and be interesting to see where everything sits come friday end of the week close let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye and um, we're going to start with the aussie yen on the 30 minute chart the reason i'm showing you this is because this is the bank of japan decision now we did get uh, some market response here's the market response to the fed action last night we initially got a move down then we're going to move higher again uh, on some hope that the fed may be data dependent but then we got the latter part of the press conference which sent markets down again and 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 the yen is a little bit of a flight to safety so that's why we saw the yen do well against everything apart from the usd towards the back end of the session it dropped off even further at the start of the asian session but this is the result of that boj intervention you can see they're very mixed it when that first candle came out looks as though in the short term we could test 95.65 if we breach that level there could be a fairly sharp move up around about 40 pips up to test 96 if we put it in context on the daily chart you'll see how 96 looks important on this if i just move this line up to where 96 is uh, so you can see on the daily chart it is quite significant it was the support prior to yesterday's price action so we could see it push up possibly up to towards this 96.60 level so the aussie yen might be interested gb pound yen is going to be interesting as well of course because of that uk interest rate decision now we're also going to look at the nasdaq just to give you the detail so there's the interest rate decision that candle down there the initial profit taken and then early part of the press conference and then the latter part of the press conference resulted in this action here now in terms of the daily chart you can see there we are at lows which is support that we hit last in uh, june towards the back end of it and uh, you can see that mid-june lows is possibly where we could be heading next if there's further so remember this is a futures contract so it's already pricing in tonight's market action so it is around about 0.8 percent down at this stage although we are seeing a little bit of recovery in asia from a week open 
So one to watch. And again, if we breach this level, perhaps at 11,600, it could mean we get a, a short term relief rally up to maybe around about 11,700, 11,750. Expect volatile day today and in fact tomorrow as well. So we expect this to continue. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.